Hey, I'm going to be showing you how to make an animal in Sala Blender. You can use this to make uh, most animals. It's kind of a similar workflow. So I'm going to be doing a horse today. So I've got my reference image and let's just hop over into Blender. Let's go. Okay, so here we are over on Blender. So first off, I'm going to add in my reference image by going Shift A, Image, Reference. I'll find it on my PC and then load reference image. Okay, so you can see in here, I have my horse. So I'm going to go side view. You see, this is not where we want the horse to be rotated. So R, Z, 90. Now the horse is inside view. Go to the image uh, preference tab over here. Opacity, change the swimming lower. So it's just see through and then generate G, X to drag it back. So that we don't have it in the center of our object. So then there's two ways you can go about this. You can either add a cube and like cut in half and mirror it or just add a plane and extrude the laser. So I'm just gonna go with a cube. So I'm gonna go shift A, cube. And then I'm gonna to go to mirror, uh, modifiers, go to front view, control R, or then I have an add-on called uh, auto mirror. So I'm gonna to go to edit, auto mirror, auto mirror. So you can just go to edit preferences, add-ons, and then search auto mirror to get this. So it just basically cuts the mesh in half and adds a mirror a modifier with clipping. I can just start working. So I can just go G. So he's going to drag it to either side of the legs like this. Okay. Just for like the middle of the body. So add another edge tube just so we can have like the, the curve of the back and belly like that. Okay. And then you can see this is way too thick. So go to top view, G, X. And then usually the stomach will be rounded a bit like that. Okay. And then we can go select these uh, and then go extrude so it's going to be for the back so we can just g g like that add an edge loop in the middle to round it out there and then you know so round it like that okay there so there's the back so we do the same thing so just extrude g g uh maybe just have uh don't have the extra edge okay so then i'm going to extrude again uh, extrude i uh, just, just extrude it together extrude uh just g Okay, I'm going to start dragging this in slightly and then we can extrude it up again. The neck, the X. Okay, that's good. We'll come back to the head. Actually, yeah, let's just carry on with the head. So, uh, for the head, we're just going to extrude it up, rotate, same thing, uh, extrude. So, we're going to have this for like the top of the R's and then ex uh, extrude it there, drag it down, extrude that. Okay, and then we'll come back and add some detail later. So, now. What you can do, you can either just go add a edge loop down the center to uh, so that we can have like a split for the legs or just select like this. So I'm just in face face mode, select these, uh, turn off clipping because if we have clipping on and extrude, you can see it just goes straight down. Uh, if you have clipping off, you can see we can it doesn't uh, join at the center. So there, so let's just drag it down and you can go just like there, scale, I was taking it to the end of the leg, uh, let's just go to here, okay, and then you can scale x if you want, okay, so I'm just going to, I have an add-on called loop tools, so I'm going to go w, loop tools, uh, circle, same thing, just go to add-ons, and then search up loop tools, so add a preferences, add-ons, so I'm just going to add edge loop to change the shape of this, okay, and then maybe curve the back a bit, uh, turn clipping back on, okay, that's okay, I'm going to go to front view, actually let's go to back, uh, back, select the left side of his body, uh, let's just deselect the face, and then drag it down, so G, Z, to round out the body, and do the same thing for the bottom, so like there, and then just deselect G, Z, there okay so we're going to want to round out this leg over here so let's just add some edge loops and we can do that so i'm going to go sz0 and the w loop tools circle so that just makes it a cube because it's a full-sided circle um and then just g scale so that's like the, yeah g there and then maybe just drag the legs out a bit to the left, I mean to the right. Yeah, like that. Okay. So maybe scale X. There. So then drag this out. And then we can select this, extrude, scale down, extrude like there. 
and then we can just go SZ0, drag it down slightly. Okay, that looks okay. So let's just change this in front of you. That looks okay. Cool. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the back. So just extrude down, scale there, extrude, scale, extrude again, scale, and then how did we do it last time? So, okay. So we extrude there, extrude SZ0, GZ, and then maybe SY. Okay. So there. Let's start working on the face a bit more. So I'm going to quickly grab some more reference images. Uh, horse there. Save. So I'm just going to pull this up here. So I'm going to go to uh, image editor and then open. Over. So you can scroll to if you want to see more. Click on open. Go to desktop. Click on the horse. Yeah. There. So just grab this one. So there. Let me drag this in slightly and then we can just round this out. Okay. If you would like to round it out a bit more, you can just uh, add a, you can go add a edge loop on the side like this to split it on the middle and then just GX. You can see that rounds out the body nicely. And then you can just G twice to edge slide like that. Okay, so some people don't want the higher resolution, but yeah, it's up to you. Okay, so there, that looks okay. Yeah, okay, so now back to the face. So you can see the horse face has like a big muzzle at the front. So we're just going to G drag it in. So like there, uh, maybe make it even smaller. And then you can see, so there and then extrude again and then there okay okay that looks kind of messed up so let's drag these in okay and then we want this this is going to be for like the jaw this one's going to be out more Maybe add one edge loop. Uh, maybe add a bit too many, but whatever, we'll see. So we can round this out more. And then also like this. And then round out the front. Uh, so let's select the middle vertically, drag it out a bit. That should help it round out. Okay. There, that looks good. And then we can just go select a face. Uh, there, select this one, R to inset. And then G to edge slide. There. So we can just drag it out. So what we're going to do is we can extrude again. And then just delete this one. Okay. So we can kind of do it there. Don't want to make it too rotated, but we just rotate it like that. Make it like a diamond. And then there. And then we can just use the knife tool and then cut like that. Okay. There. And then to add some thickness to it, you can just select these and then just extrude and scale. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select these ones, extrude, scale. And then go up here, turn on vertex snapping, G, control, G, control, okay. And then delete these faces underneath, like that. And then go M by distance, select all four of these vertices, F, okay. And there you go. And you can even extrude it in if you want, like that. Uh, and you can see we have a hole back here, because when we extruded, so we just have to pull this again, so there. F, uh, okay, F to fill, same thing here, F, F, okay, cool, there you go, so we've got the ears in, and yeah, so 
you can add the tail in, it's the same thing, just like R to insert. So as you can see when we press R, it just like does it in like a different part. So you press B, so it's for boundary, so it goes, it like sinks to the center. And then you can just extrude, and then do the same thing. So just extrude it out. It's kind of hard to make like a wispy uh, thing without adding a bunch of vertices. So, but I mean, that looks fine. And there you go. Maybe make the ears a bit bigger. And there you go. You have a horse. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, links to, well, yeah, click in the description if you want to see like a whole course and open the characters. Or click on the other link for Gumroad, where you can find a bunch of free models for use in whatever. And yeah, cheers. Have a good day.